Let's get to uh, Bella Hadid, though, because she made major history over oh. the weekend. Uh, for about nine minutes, this team, you're watching them now, uh, they sprayed a white off-shoulder dress onto her body. Now, she did have some stuff on underneath. People mm -hmm. were thinking she were was fully nude. Mm -hmm. That was not the case. Uh, but the substance is a patented spray-on fabric developed by a London-based company called Fabricron. It looked like spider webs at first until the layers thickened and dried into fabric. Do we like it? Do we not? I love this. I, I like love it. it. I like it. What do you like about it? I just thought it was such a cool presentation. You know what I mean? She comes out there. Yes, it's a little edgy. She barely has any clothes on. And of course she looks amazing, she's beautiful. But I just thought it was so cool to watch them work mm. and you see them like swiping it away and then just what you think is kind of like, what is going on here? And mm -hmm. it was beautiful. The dress was beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah, it was gorgeous. And that's what Fashion Week is about. It's mm. about the risks. It's about them pushing the envelope, you know, and watching innovation. And we got to see yeah. that firsthand. Yeah. Well, yeah. not to be inappropriate, my only concern is how do you use the restroom in that dress? Or do you? I think it's a one-time use. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. like, you wear it's the dress really one time. It's not really functional. It's just yeah. for the runway. It's like a, I think a presentation so. of <laughs> art, wearing art. Right. And I think it was just so cool, and everyone was talking about it. Yeah. Uh, it's wearable art, and yeah. also made me think of, like, edible art, too. Ooh. So, mm -hmm. so Chef. If you were to make a dress or a suit Ooh. on somebody out of a food item, okay. what do you think could work? Out of a food item? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's tough, huh? <laughs> I mean, Lady, Lady Gaga had Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. Lady yeah. Gaga had the meat. Item. Well, you remember Lady Gaga wore meat to okay. one okay. A, award Let's show. Make a, a veggie. A veggie. A veggie. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Maybe a, Maybe a veggie wrap. <laughs> oh, yeah. <okay. laughs> Next up, Kanye West making his Fashion Week debut, and he was ready for war, apparently, in Balenciaga. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a mili military-style jacket adorned with a security patch and matching black leather trousers with a jacket's hood pulled up over a lidded cap. Now, the creative director said that this fit and all the mud included was, quote, a metaphor for digging for truth and being down to earth. Do we like it or do we not? It's clear for me. Hard I pass. Know. Like, uh, uh oh, wait a minute. Ashley. Okay, tell us. I'm in tell the middle. Us. Okay, I, I feel that. I feel that. I think. I like the metaphor. I think it was an interesting way to like interpret like being down to earth and the grid of the earth. But it's common. He just looks so angry walking it and the attitude behind it. Like, I know it's fashion, but. It was okay, very apocalyptic so, for yeah. me. Yeah. Well, that's very on brand for Kanye. <laughs> oh, I mean, right. he's got whole, yeah. This is what we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Right. He's got right. some futuristic shoes. So yeah. for Kanye, I say like it because it's on brand. Yeah. Me, myself, it's a no. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, I'm there with you on that. It, was, yeah. it is very Kanye. You're like, okay, I would see Kanye doing that. Do I do I like the fashion? Is it something that I think is really edgy? So we agree, know. a yay for yay only. There you oh, go. Exactly. Right? Yay for yay. <laughs> Let's talk about I love all that. that now. <laughs> uh, showing off a new look in Paris. And she needs to take her foot off our neck. She is just everything to me. Uh, she's in an all-black ensemble, accessorized with arm makeup made to look like gloves. And of course, you see the white and blue face makeup and bright red lips. Do we like it? Do we not? What? I like it very much. I'm a little confused. Because it's Doja Cat. I know. I'm biased. I'm a little confused here. What are we... What? You know, she was giving Halloween-ish mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. um, okay. She's been doing that. You know, she shaved her yes. head, her eyebrows. Yeah. And then at Fashion Week in New York, she had the white paint on her mm -hmm. face. Yeah. And she's my doppelganger, so I love it. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I do see yeah. the resemblance. I was her for Halloween last year. Oh. oh, you also remind me of, it's an actress back from the 90s, uh, Michael Michelle. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. She was in uh, New Jack City and New York Undercover. We'll see oh, later okay. on New in York the show. Pull up, you okay. look just like her to me. Okay. Okay, we're completely off topic, but yes. <laughs> um, let's turn back time now. We want to get this in. Let's talk about Cher, Queen B, because she still got it going on. Uh, she rocked a black, white, and gray cat suit with sculpted shoulders and built-in gloves. And uh, she also had some chunky platform boots and silver eyeshadow. 
What do we think? I love it. I don't like it. I love it mm. too. I love it too. Cher is amazing. Uh, I saw her in concert one time. <gasps> oh, yes. Jealous. Yes. Back in the day, I saw her and she couldn't get on her big elephant because it was an outdoor stage and it was too windy and I was <laughs> very upset about it. Uh, but she's amazing. I don't, I mean, she's an icon. She looks amazing always. Mm -hmm. And the outfit is like, okay. And let's not right. mention the fact she's 76 and still right. shutting it yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. come on. I saw her live too and she was wearing a bodysuit. Oh. So when I'm in my 70s, I know what I'm striving for. That's Let me sure. look half as good as, as Cher, and I'm good. She's right. great. She's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, can't we do love no Cher. Yep.